glass pens were something that I was always really fascinated about. So um, I got two that were on sale. I've already used these, so like, like the tips are already in. I've been, I've tried them both out. This one's more of a finer tip, um, whereas this one's like a medium tip. I would say something around like 0.5 to 0.7. And I've been really liking the green one to kind of illustrate. Um, and it is a bit of a trial and error to try and like not get too much ink on the nib um, and whatnot. But I've been really enjoying it. Um, I did these illustrations uh, yesterday. Uh, this was like the first time I used a glass pen. It was like a, this, these were inks that came with the pens. And then I also did this one, which you can kind of see like the illustrations that I just did kind of bleed through uh, but this isn't perhaps watercolor paper wouldn't work nicer but anyways um, I really like this illustration so I'm probably gonna redo it this was made with uh, walnut ink and um, fountain pen ink kind of as a mixture um, yeah and then this was um, this is an unfinished page from today I'm really enjoying uh, drawing with glass pens and I want to do more so uh, I will, I'll probably finish this page tomorrow under natural lighting so you can kind of see what it looks like because it's getting dark really soon, really fast here. But it is feeling like autumn and I can finally wear not short sleeves anymore. So pros and cons, pros and cons. I do need to get a desk lamp. <sighs> so many life errands, so little time. You know the days when your fringe just looks weird no matter what you do? Like I don't even know what's wrong with it. I think it's kind of too puffy here and not enough puffy here. Um, I don't know. Anyways, so I got the notification from my manufacturer that, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna... Maybe this will work better. Okay, so I got the notification from my manufacturer for my tote bags that they shipped a lot earlier than scheduled. Um, and they should arrive, I think, later this week. Uh, so they should be up when the shop update is live. And I should take be able to take like real photos, not mock-ups. Um, well, depending on the lighting, I don't think we're supposed to have great weather this week. Anyways. I digress. What was I saying? Uh, yes, the tote bags have arrived earlier than usual and I thought it would be interesting to kind of just uh, like not so much I thought it would be interesting. What am I saying? Oh my god, I need coffee. Um, not coffee, but very strong green tea, which also works. <laughs> but yes, what was I saying? Yes, uh, the tote bags are gonna arrive earlier than scheduled and I'm gonna make little uh, hanging label no, the 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 labels that you kind of hang from like the bags um but yeah so i did a couple of test runs yesterday let me find them so i found um side note i found this little i found like a box of cassettes um if you don't know what those are then uh i'm a lot older than you but basically uh a bottle of t uh, a box of like tape cassettes and um 
basically pulled out the cassette boxes um, and then used the box to kind of use as little holders. And what I did was I have these little like um, recycled craft paper and then I cut them into like these small rectangles, did a little hole punch and then my stamp on there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie some twine through it and then attach it to the tote bags and it'll look cute. At least I think it'll look cute. I know it'll look, I think it'll look cute and I hope that other people look, think it'll look cute. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna prep for that. We'll take you along um, and attach them when the top bags arrive. Uh, yeah, so I got my tote bags today, and um, there are two versions. This was the blue one that was uh, only available for ooh, for pre-order, which I shared the news on for like my social media and whatnot. But this is the blue one for pre-order, and it came out very lovely. If you look at the blue; it's very nice. I I just really love this design. Um, but the second one, it was a chocolate brown, and like pre-orders were also taken for that as well. That was really popular. But unfortunately, the color came out different. It's like a slight gray, which is still quite nice. It's, I actually really like this gray, but it's not the chocolate brown that I promised and uh, because pre-orders are open. So I contacted the manufacturer on this issue and they're gonna basically uh, remake the, ooh, this is very dark, hold on. They send me proofs like early on to make sure that the color is right. And then from there, uh, they're gonna produce it. It'll probably take about an extra week or so. So, yeah. Which is kind of still in line because I initially said they would arrive mid, mid November, early to mid November. Um, and because they deliver ahead of schedule, we still have some leeway time to kind of produce the bright color. But yeah, these gray, these slate gray ones, beautiful. And we'll still go on to the shop. We have like about 20, 20 of the gray ones. And once they're gone, they're gone because I can't replicate this color. I really good, but I don't know. Yeah, so that's kind of, that's kind of what it is. We have my little, uh, little tags to kind of, tags to, oh, looks like bunny ears. But yeah, we have little tags. That's my new stamp, mushroom stamp. It goes along with the, uh, the bag design and then we're going to attach these to the handle as we pack and and uh yeah that's that's kind of it we're on the day of the launch so there's still quite a bit to, things to do i need to take photos of the tote bags 
which will probably require going outside. It's like ridiculously hot today. It's like 29 degrees Celsius. But apparently next week is going to be 12. I don't know, global change. But yeah, we're going to prepare for the shop update. Um, and then once all that is done, I can reward myself with uh, the new Animal Crossing. I started playing yesterday, uh, last night when it was released early. And I did some sneaky time traveling. I accidentally traveled to December. Ended up having cockroaches in the house. I had to like stomp them. But anyways. Um, and then the DLC expansion pack, which I pre-ordered, <laughs> is, is, was available this morning. Um, I promised that I wouldn't play until I got my work done. And I might have sneakily talked to Lottie a bit. Is it Lottie or Lottie? Lottie a bit. But uh, we're not going to touch the game until this evening. Hopefully when I have all my work done. And it'll take my mind off of the shop update anxiety because that is real. But yeah. We're going we're gonna to do a lot of work. We got to, you yeah. know. Uh, got this. Oh yeah. Also, I made, um, so... I had extra scraps of paper left over from making these tags and I make the, made them into small wonky gift tags which I really like. Uh, but yeah, so oh, look at the wonky gift tags. They're like uneven. I love them. Um, but these will go out in basically all orders before, while supplies last. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh, now that I'm looking at my fringe closely, I think I cut it uneven. I think I need to recut this bit. That's too long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 